Hey there. Welcome back to Pain Management University freshman year. Today we're going to dive into one of the most exciting fields for growth and development in the pain management world, spinal cord stimulation. Before watching this video, be sure to review our welcome video and our video covering neck and back pain as they help set a foundation of understanding. Okay, imagine you packed your bags and went on the trip of a lifetime to a small Italian village. The food, the weather, the scenery would all be like something out of a storybook. Here's the thing, you'd better know how to speak Italian. Speaking Russian likely won't be much help. When in Rome, you must do as the Romans do. For patients with chronic neuropathic pain, we needed to come up with a way to speak directly to the neurons. They have their own language, though admittedly not as enjoyable to listen to as fine Italian. They speak in electrical and chemical signals. Over the years, we've learned to speak directly to these neurons to help control their behavior. In the medical world, we call this neuromodulation. Breaking that up, neuro is for nerves, modulation is for control. This idea has been around for centuries. In ancient Greece, they discovered electrical impulses from electric eels in foot baths helped relieve pain. This was a popular way of managing arthritis. That sounds pretty neat, but I'm sure glad we're no longer in ancient Greece. Here's how it works in modern times. A small wire, or lead as we call it, is placed into the mid-back in the same epidural space discussed in the previous videos. This lead has small electrical contacts that help emit varying frequencies of electrical energy. The energy released helps to bottleneck damaged nerves. I think we need another amazing analogy from yours truly to best explain this. Imagine you are in your kitchen chopping up some vegetables. Uh-oh, you make a small slit in your finger and you're bleeding. We all know that hurts. On your way to get a tissue, you stub your toe. With your stubbed toe, your finger magically hurts less. In this example, nerves from your toe and finger were traveling along the same spinal pathway up to the brain. The toe pain supersedes the finger pain and the finger pain settles. With that in mind, a bunch of smart people sat around a table and discovered that we can replace chronically irritated nerves with a new pleasant feeling stimulus or even high frequency stimulus that you can't even feel. Over the years, we've learned that this technology also helps neighboring spinal nerves release chemicals that help to slow the firing of these damaged nerve fibers. The most important part of this procedure is what we call the trial phase. Your highly trained doctor will insert this lead into your mid-back epidural space. This procedure is much like what is performed to help women during childbirth. However, X-ray guidance is used and patients are laying on their belly. Most often, some form of sedation is used to optimize comfort. There are no incisions made. Once the lead is optimally positioned, we attach it to a narrow cable that's taped to your back for up to one week. During that time, we expect significant pain relief. That's right, significant. Imagine triples or home runs on a baseball field. After one week, we'll determine if you would like to make this a long-term option. No matter what, the leads are removed. Any questions? Okay, we've got one from student number one. Does this get rid of all of your pain? And the answer is generally not all of your pain. We'd like to get rid of most of your pain to allow your lifestyle to be easily managed. We are also not masking your pain. If a bee stings you in the back, you will still feel it like you normally would. Remember, we're looking to just manage the bad nerves, not override the good ones. Okay, student number two asks, does this interact with other medications? The answer is no, it does not. We're cautious to ask about medications like blood thinners prior to this procedure. However, it doesn't interact with any medication used for pain control. In fact, our goal is to have you use less medications. Student number three asks, what are your outcomes with this? Okay, this is a great question. Between 60 to 70% report improvement in sleep and between 70 to 80% report significant long-term functional improvement and pain relief. Remember, triples and home runs are our goal. Student number four asks, can I get an MRI with this in my body? And the answer is yes. 
Most new units are safe for full-body MRI with some technical adjustments needed. Here's another question from student number five. Why is there a trial phase? That's a good question. Imagine purchasing a new vehicle. It would be best to first test drive the car before committing. Well, this is the same idea here. Okay, another question. Student number six asks, what is the long-term plan with this therapy? Well, if successful, we can place these leads permanently into the mid-back epidural space. A small battery would then be inserted under the skin, generally in the gluteal area so that it can't be seen. This can be charged wirelessly with a small belt as needed. A representative with the company would be available to you for minor adjustments to the therapy as your pain evolves. This battery can last anywhere from five to 10 years until it may need to be replaced. Well, we hope this has been informative and please follow our channel for more videos. As always, these videos never replace a formal medical consultation. See you soon.